Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So this vlog is really quite exciting because it's my first official day starting my project as part of my master's degree. It is a Monday if you were wondering and I'm also going to say at the start of this video that it is very kindly sponsored by Organic Basics. I'm so excited to share some clothes with you guys so there will be a haul coming a bit later in this video and yeah so that morning I essentially got myself ready. If you were wondering I'm a student at UCL I'm studying remotely and I'm doing a data analysis project so even though my degree is in biology and I'm doing the cancer masters I'm not going to be in a lab because of the whole pandemic so yeah that's why I'm at home and doing my project online so I did my emails first thing at my desk, but moving on to my project. So I hadn't been given any data to start analyzing yet. However, leading up to the project, I had done a bit of background reading. So I felt as prepared as possible going into this. And so this morning, what I started working on was the oral presentation. So this would be our first assessment as part of this project. We would have to give a presentation. So I just familiarized myself with what we'd have to do for that assessment, that presentation. And then I used my reading notes to see if I could start working towards that i mean there wasn't too much i could do but i did have quite a lot of notes to go through so i did make a good start towards that before i then went on a morning run that day As I said, it was Monday and as I mentioned in my last video, I've been trying to change up my morning routine slightly. And so this morning I was going through an ideal routine if you wanna put it that way and it felt really good. I was really happy with it. So definitely like this video if you would like to see an updated morning routine or morning routines because I may have slightly different ones depending on if I'm training, doing running training that day or not. Honey be inspired. Yeah. Do we like it? Do we like it? I do, I really like it, yes. The craziest thing is that in a no pandemic era, I would be on day one of my project, walking into a lab, putting a lab coat on. I wouldn't even be allowed water, let alone a smoothie. But here I am at my desk doing my project, right? Doing a data analysis project, everybody. I'm not complaining either way, it is what it is. And I'm very content here with my smoothie. I mean, I don't know how content I'll still be in a few weeks time when everything is going wrong and I have no idea how I'm supposed to do the data analysis. But anyway, on a positive note, today I was learning how to use terminal. So terminal, if you didn't know, I don't really know how best to describe it, but it's like you seeing inside the computer, you can control the computer without having to actually control it, if you see what I mean, but it's coding. So I was trying to learn how to use terminal or command line, it's also called. I'm I'm literally like so ecstatic right now. I'm literally sitting here like, oh my gosh, I created a website, like coded a website. Let me um, explain. It was literally nothing more than a website with a heading, but I've literally just been looking at some stuff online, going through some tutorials, learning how to use terminal and like command line. I'm gonna do a screen record and show you what I just learned, okay? Because I am proud. This is gonna sound ridiculously simple to some people that can code and can do all of this stuff, but let me just show you what I have learned to do. Aside from me doing my project and having to learn this stuff for my project, it is actually so fun. I feel like I should make this a hobby, like a new hobby, learning to code. You watched me code a whole website at some point. I would love to be able to do that because this is so fun. This on the left hand side is terminal. And then I have my desktop just to show you on the right hand side as I do stuff. So the first thing I'm gonna do is let's print the working directory. So I'm working in my desktop that it's told me and I'm actually currently in the folder Gabrielle. So CD means change directory. So I'm gonna go back to my desktop. So I've just gone one level back. So I've gone out of that Gabrielle folder and just back to my desktop. So now I'm gonna make a folder. So I'm gonna, is it MKDIR? So that means make directory. I'm gonna make a folder and let's call it Holly. As you can see, I've just made a folder and I'm gonna move into that. So I'm gonna change directory. So move into Holly press enter and I'm in there and if I write ls that's going to list everything that's in there but currently there isn't anything in that folder Holly because if I show you there is nothing in it okay so this is fun I'm learning what's going on change directory and let's change into the Gabrielle folder so I'm gonna jump into the Gabrielle folder yeah change directory oh Wait, that was wrong. Okay, now I'm in Holly. 
where am I? It was going so well and now I've just lost it. Okay, I'm in the holly folder. I'm gonna make then the website in this holly folder. I was using the dot dot dash when I didn't need to. Worked it out, okay? We're learning here, you see? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write nano. I don't really know what that really means, but I have to say nano and then index.html. So that's a website. Okay, so now I'm gonna write at the top of my website as a heading, apparently. I'm gonna write, that's right, you are watching Holly <laughs> Gabrielle. Um, something like this. Yes, we want to get out of this. So if I show you that, over here I've created this little website. And if I open this, you see? You are watching Holly Gabrielle. Do you see that? I just made a website for you. I'm gonna keep learning these commands and keep familiarizing myself with terminal. I'm also just now, because I have tutoring like half an hour, I'm gonna try using command line to get into UCL. Like I have to get into the VPN or something because I'm obviously not at UCL. So I'm outside the VPN. So I need to try and jump in to UCL or something using command line, which is a bit confusing. And to my surprise, I actually managed to do it. And I was just so impressed. I like jumped into UCL, as I said, and I landed in UCL even though I was still at home. I mean, I had nothing to do when I got there, so I just left. And as I said, I had a tutoring session anyway, so this was a two hour session. After the session, I then did some follow-up work as well as some other emails and admin just midway through the day. We're currently in the bathroom because aside from me getting like way too excited learning how to code today, like I honestly can't believe it. But anyway, aside from me coding and starting my project today, we're gonna have a little mini haul. A little mini haul, yeah. As I said at the start of this video, it is very kindly sponsored by Organic Basics. I've spoken about Organic Basics before on this channel and on my Instagram because I wear their stuff all the time and I've worked with them before and honestly, I just love their brand like so much. They are an eco-friendly, sustainable clothing company and they make kind of like your essentials, your kind of staple items. As it says on their website, they just like take sustainability so seriously. I myself have made like really big changes this year in terms of fashion, like only buying from sustainable brands like Organic Basics or thrifting. But yeah, I am here to talk to you guys specifically about their new collection that I'm wearing today. It is called their Midweight Sweat Collection. It's kind of like a transition between spring and summer wear. Honestly, this is the perfect outfit. Like I'm not wearing anything underneath this today. Normally I wear stuff underneath jumpers because I'm too cold. Get up. Get up. Get up. It's great to just lounge around in, but on the other hand, I feel like I could go out in this outfit and, you know, you could like dress it up. Something about Organic Basics that I love and that all mums out there will love and appreciate is the quality of Organic Basics. It's so good, like it's insanely good quality, like tip top notch. It's made from 100% organic cotton, it's got certified cotton. It's just so versatile, as I said, so durable. It's gonna last forever, this two piece so this is like their mustard yellow color it's a new color and i honestly love it i'm living for this color right now in this collection they also have stuff in gray navy and cedar which is like a pinkish red kind of color all of the product links to the stuff i'm wearing and showing you guys today will be linked down below but this specifically is the mid-weight cropped sweat so it's kind of like a cropped sweat and then obviously i have the sweatpants in mustard yellow to match this whoa ladies where are you going they saw a squirrel, everyone. They saw a squirrel. Whoa, I just dropped something on the floor. Something I have literally been living in for the past weeks has been this. So this is the midweight sweat. This isn't the cropped one. You can see on the camera right now, look at this navy color. It's so nice. Both these jumpers are in a size small. I would say that this sweat comes up a bit more oversized than the cropped one. However, I do love how this fits. It's just so nice all of the product links will be down below as i said check out the new collection they have lots of different styles and colors and there's also a discount code for you guys to use so if you use the link and you use my code you will get a discount briefly i'm just going to mention that i got some active wear from organic basics so i got this sports bra this is the active workout bra it's just in black because you can never go wrong with a staple black sports bra i also got these black leggings which Oh, so good. Can never go wrong with a pair of leggings again. These are like seamless, really stretchy. All of this is made from recycled materials, which is amazing. I also got this workout t-shirt in black. It's part of their Silver Tech range. So that is my little haul for you guys. I hope you like the products. If you order anything from Organic Basics and use the discount, as I said. And obviously, again, huge shout out to Organic Basics and thank you to them for sponsoring this video. Have you seen the fridge? Yeah, Whoa. Because it was gross. Right, Emily and I are going on a walk. 
Well, we're going on a shopping trip. We're going to a supermarket. That's the shopping trip. Supermarket. Le supermarché. Huh? I thought it was funny on TikTok and they're like, it's like all different languages, how they say like hospital. And it's like hospital, 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 hospital. And then you get to German and it's like Krankenhaus. <laughs> That's so accurate. Auf Deutsch, Krankenhaus. Auf Francais, l'hôpital. Auf UK, hospital. <laughs> um, update on the tomato plants. We don't have any tomatoes yet. Sad times. I love this like, cute little vibe we've got going on with the earrings and the yellow tech. Wait, can we just catch this on camera? Emily's saying she likes what I'm wearing. Yeah. Can everyone please tell Ollie to wear this sort of stuff all the time rather than her usual, I don't know what. Well, we may as well go out and make sure the whole world see this outfit. We're going to go to the hospital. Do you we need to go to the supermarché so everybody sees my beautiful honey inspired outfit. I am a honey. You are a honey. Mm, 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 mm. How witchy. What do we look like? A bumblebee. I look cool, right? And then we're gonna put the sunglasses on. I mean, the sunglasses are not in. That's I know the sunglasses are awful, <laughs> but we're gonna have to wear them anyway because I want to look like a bug. <laughs> So and yeah. also I don't like this strap here. You can see like a, a oh, strap. I'm currently from Beverly Hills, just walking up Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills. Anyway, I'm just gonna jump in my Tesla. Then I'm gonna, um, what am I gonna do after that? Mm, what are these things called? Tesla 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 I'll see you later. I mean, I'm not going to be walking out of Beverly Hills, but if you want me to get my nails done, I'm sure we can semi make that happen at some point. Anyway, Emily and I took a very quick trip, as I said, to the supermarket, Le Supermarché. We just went there and we came back. Emily wanted to get something specifically. And yeah, actually, this is me walking out of Beverly Hills. We caught it right in the moment, you know? But as you can see, it was such a nice day in the UK today. Like the sun was shining and that is all I'm asking for from the UK weather in the spring slash summertime, you know, to make up for all the cold weather we have most of the year. But anyway, when I got back, I had my lunch. So I just made myself this huge salad in one of our massive white bowls. I'm still on a hunt for some new white bowls, which I was talking about recently. But yeah, anyway, after I'd had my lunch and everything, I went back upstairs and because I didn't have any data to analyze yet, I couldn't do anything when I'd gotten into the UCL server that morning. So I thought it was best to just like work on my oral presentation again. So I had a lot of notes to go through and so I thought I would just keep going with that and I was really happy because by the end of the evening I'd reached a point when I just couldn't do any more so I was very happy with the progress we made this day. As you saw me do in the morning I stripped my bed and I'd left it airing all day so later that evening I made sure I left enough time to make it. We need good music vibes when making this bed. I hate making beds with the passion. Thank you. Don't you cut. I don't know how many times I've mentioned this on my channel, but I do not like making my bed. However, listening to music and Doja Cat specifically alongside made my experience a whole lot better. And after that, I then just had a shower, went downstairs. Milka was um, ignoring me. She actually hadn't come to see me all day. So I was really quite sad about that, you know? I was literally just neglected by Milka. Um, but on a very positive note, today has been a really good day. You should feel very excited to be on my clean bed right now. But genuinely, I normally have at least one mental breakdown whilst I'm making my bed. Today, we had none. The lesson learned is, you know, don't rush the things that you don't like because when I rush, I get really frustrated. I actually made my bed and nothing went wrong, which is actually amazing. And it's just very much in line with today like how i felt today i changed quite a few things today like i tested out a new morning routine and i feel like a lot of those things may have contributed to this good day i woke up very much on the right side of the bed today but yeah in terms of my project i felt so proud of myself because i've gotten a lot more done today than i expected i was getting really carried away at the end i was going to do some editing but i was like i'm really into this right now and i feel like sometimes if you're into something just like don't stop just keep going don't interrupt the flow so that is exactly what i did i got carried away because i was like having a lot of fun i have a meeting scheduled on wednesday with my kind of supervisor who's going to be helping me and supervising me for my project so that is on wednesday we've scheduled a call the weather was sunny today i mean what more could you want I feel like it's gonna rain for the next week or so, but it's always good to start off Monday with some sunshine, right? So yeah. Oh, a big thing with my project that I want to say, I currently have my window open right now because there's a really nice breeze. Um, it was like 14 degrees today, which 
it is pretty decent yesterday it was like 19 degrees it was so hot but anyway with my project so ultimately i feel like it's gonna decide or help me decide anyway whether i'm gonna go on to do a phd or not after this i mean i'm still not gonna gain that much lab experience you know it's a data analysis project um which i'm enjoying so far but like i don't know how long this is gonna last you know until i start running into problems with like command line and python and all this other stuff that i'm supposed to be using then we may have a change of tune right but for now i feel happy as i said and yeah it's gonna help me decide if i want to do a phd or not because at the moment i don't know so we'll see we'll see i mean my project is like three months so stay tuned for the updates but yeah i'm gonna go and have my food now so yeah i'm gonna shut up and uh, go and have some fish. And yeah, that basically concluded my day. As I said, I just went downstairs and had my food. I prepped everything I needed for the next morning. And it was so nice to get into clean bed sheets. But anyway, I just wanted to say I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed spending this first day of my project with me. I'm still reading this book. I'm gonna read it before I go to bed. I'm tuning off the day. Thank you as always for being here and watching this video. Definitely like it if you enjoyed it. Comment down below. And if you're new around here and want to subscribe and hit the bell definitely feel free to do that and as always i will speak to you very soon in another video bye guys